Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayyid. In this episode we will see how to make use of workday function to calculate the deadline of any given project. In the last video we have seen how to do calculations using network days and some other date functions. Let us explore workday through this demonstration. To follow along with me, you need to download this workbook using the link in the video description. This workbook carries two worksheets, Workday and Practice Zone. Workday is the sheet where I will demonstrate this lesson and Practice Zone is for you to practice. Let's begin. Before I move forward, let me tell you what exactly are we trying to do here. We are trying to find out the date when the project is going to complete. We have start date and we have project duration. So what would be the date when this project is going to complete? There is a simple process. I can simply add these days to that start date. That is, I press an equal to select the start date using the plus operator. I add the project duration to that date. After 159 days, from this date, this is going to be the date. This is a simple process. It does not exclude any weekends or holidays. So how about excluding weekends? We just need the work day, pure work day, no weekends. The standard weekend is Saturday and Sunday. So two days out of the week. So let me do that using work day. Work day function takes in three parameters start date the number of days and holidays holidays is optional even if you ignore that nothing is going to go wrong but if you want to include holidays so that it gets excluded from your calculation consider that one we will see that in a bit for now let's select start date comma how many days the duration of the project. Close the bracket, press enter on the keyboard, and that's the date we get after 159 days, pure work days. That is no Saturday, no Sunday. Let me drag this down. This is the calculation for other projects here now. Now let us give it a try using holidays. So work day, this time we select start date and the duration of the project and the holidays. Let me select the set of holidays we have. Before I do anything else, I will press F4 on the keyboard to lock that area. This is making the cell references absolute. In case you need to find out more about this, watch my previous videos you will find a great lesson about this by making cells absolute we are ensuring that the selection does not move when we drag the cells down let me close the bracket press enter on the keyboard and there we go so this is the date I get excluding weekends and holidays there is a slight variation you can see here now that is how we calculate the work days without weekends, without holidays, pure working days. How about we try doing the same thing with custom weekends because in some different countries we have different weekends. For example, in some of the Gulf regions we have Friday and Saturday as weekends. In India we have only one day for a weekend, that is Sunday. Some companies, they offer Saturday and Sunday, but majority in India, they, they just give you Sunday, only one day in the week. So let me go ahead, type in workday, and select workday.imtl. That's the function I need in this scenario. This one takes in four parameters as opposed to the previous one. There's one additional parameter, that is weekend. I will select start date, the days is the duration of the project. Look what happens when I press comma now. There we go. I get a list of all 
custom weekends I can select from so I need Sunday only I can either enter 11 or double click on this one and close the bracket I am not bothered about holidays at this time I'm just trying to get the custom weekend press enter and that's the date I get let me drag this down to complete it for other projects that's how I calculate the deadline or the date the target date of any given project using workday function here in the practice zone file I have something for you I want you to calculate the deadline with the standard weekends or the weekends and holidays and then custom weekends and custom weekends and holidays I want you to customize your function try different variations of this custom weekends to ensure that you get a hang of it don't give up your practice the more you practice the more you retain keep up with your learning in the next video we will look at how to convert text and trace into date and time thank you so much for watching this video to keep up with me don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon to get notifications about the new videos thank you so much have a nice one